We want to turn now to disturbing sex crime allegation, uh, and this is against an 11 year old girl. Miami Dade police say that this happened in a family restroom at Dolphin Mall when a man allegedly drugged and then raped the victim. NBC six anchor Chris Hush live with us from Miami Dade police headquarters with the story. Chris, you just spoke with police about this disturbing case. What are they telling you? Yeah, it's disturbing indeed. The suspect, a 33 year old man who is accused of taking this 11 year old girl, as you said, into a restroom at Dolphin Mall and then giving her a marijuana edible before sexually battering her in that family restroom. A judge today ordering he be held in jail on no bond, giving the facts of this case. Mr. Romero, so you were arrested for sexual battery on a minor. It's from December 10th. Buenos días, señor Rivero. Usted fue arrestado por agresión sexual a un menor. Esto viene del 10 de diciembre. So the judge goes on to say that these are really egregious facts. Judge Mindy Glazer also noting this crime could be punishable by life in prison if he's convicted. The suspect, David Rivero, is charged with sexual battery on a minor after police say he went to Dolphin Mall in Sweetwater on December 10th, giving, giving the 11-year-old a marijuana gummy, then took her to the restroom where he sexually attacked her. Video surveillance helped Miami-Dade police identify and track down Rivero after the young victim told her mother, who then took her to the hospital. Shortly after that police were called. Investigators say the mother had dropped off her daughter at the mall to meet up with a friend, leaving her alone there before Rivero is seen taking taking her into the family restroom where that attack happened. It is a disturbing crime that police want parents to be aware of. You never know what's going to or what may happen, you know, to your child, to, to your, your loved one when they're unsupervised. So we remind them if you're going to take your, your child somewhere and you are not going to be the person to watch them, uh, try to ensure that there is some sort of supervision uh, to make sure that there are no unsafe situations that may occur. Like happened in this instance, Chris, uh, what about the mother? Will she be facing any consequences here? Yeah, so we asked this question to police today during that interview. They tell us that because of the circumstances of the case, they did contact DCF because an 11 year old was involved in this incident. We reached out to DCF, the Department of Children and Families, to see if they are investigating this uh, incident here. We have yet to hear back. For now, I'm Chris Usher, live outside of Miami Dade Police Headquarters, NBC 6 News.